everyone welcome back to my channel so we are going to be playing with Shing Modern today we're going to be playing with the water paint so I've got a whole bunch of different colours out and uh, yeah we will try it over different things so yeah sit back relax and I will do a bit more of a voiceover than I normally do and uh, yeah we'll come back at the end and have a look and I will give you my thoughts okay sit back relax and I'll speak to you soon okay
okay right so i did two more nails off camera so this is another foil one and this is another stamping one so these <clears throat> i've coated the stamping in the uh clear sealer and um i laid the foil down and i covered that in the clear sealer as well so i'm going to change the top coat that i was originally using i'll tell you why in a minute so i'm going to switch it to the orly so we shall see now i haven't topped these off again with the sealer i'm just going to go straight over the top just to see I just really wanted to give them a really really good test to see what I could use them over what I can't use them over like what the effect will be so this was over a hollow foil so some of the hollow has faded I'm not sure why but at least I know now that I can't use them over um, hollow foil <clears throat> so that's a good test at least I know now I'm going to have to put that under a fan in a minute so let's use the top coat straight over this now I've only sealed the stamping I have not sealed the rest of the nail so let's see if it will smudge No, no smearing at all. So that is the watercolours. Um, I stamp the image, put the sealer over, wait for the sealer to dry, and then I use the watercolours over the top. So I will just quickly put these under a fan, and then I shall come right back and I will show you the rest. Okay, see you in a minute. So this is the one that we did straight um over the water decals this little blip was me because i went backwards on the brush and i shouldn't have done that so don't do that um this was the wet and wet technique absolutely no problems whatsoever and this was straight over the top and adding water to the watercolors so yep you can use them over water decals the reason why i chose colored one was to see if the colors would bleed and they didn't so they turned out really really good I really really like how how they turned out really really nice and then this was it these were the different tests over the foil now this foil is a bit patchy um, but this was foil with a sealer and then wait for the sealer to dry and over the top so they have lost their hollowness but at least I know now this was the wet and wet technique over the foil really really pretty and then this was without a sealer straight over the foil so i think they turned out really 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 nice let me just get the next ones and this was it over the stamping images this is the reason why i changed the top coat because that top coat the first one which is this one which is one i got off of uh, amazon so i will not use it for um to use over the definitely don't use it over the stamping i didn't put the sealer on this one so that's why i changed it to the orly but no problems with the orly so this right this one i stamped the image did the sealer wait for the sealer to dry and then painted over the top and i think it turned out really really pretty really like how that turned out and then this one <laughs> was where i used the gold at least now I know with the gold, don't use so much of it unless you want that want that effect. So this was the over the sealer, so on wet on wet, um, as Tina terms it. But I still think it turned out really, really pretty. All oh, that shimmery goodness, really, really pretty. But yeah, next time if I well next time I use the gold, I'm going to use less. And then this was it straight over the stamping image no sealer straight over the top but then it smeared when i applied the top coat but i think it turned out really really pretty still 
apart from just that smearing and it was only just that one part like there was there's no there's nothing else unless it was just that part just wasn't covered enough i don't know i don't know but i won't use it again on when i've when i've done this because uh yeah i just i really really wanted to try them over different stuff that i would you know normally use so i would normally use stamping I would normally use foils and was decals so I really wanted to try them over like the three common things to see what would happen so yeah you can use it over all three just remember that if you use it over hollow foil it will remove the hollowness but it doesn't bother me because it was only a you know a cheap old one anyway so it's one that's just been laying around so at least now I know so yeah, I will try it again over some foils because I have lots of ideas in mind now, even more. So I think may, maybe I'll do like once a month or, you know, try try and do something more on a regular basis with the, you know, just playing with the shoe modern stuff. Even if it's just like nails like this, just like random stuff, maybe not necessarily a whole design. So yeah, let me know your thoughts down below on this shoe modern stuff. I will try i've got some different ideas in mind for the stamping polishes so i will get that done give me one second so yep yeah, as i was saying let me know any thoughts you have down below and if you found this video helpful yeah just let me know your thoughts and yeah i will do some stuff with the stamping polishes well thank you everybody so much for watching don't forget to head over and check out she modern um i their youtube channel and instagram and website is always linked down below um you can order this stuff if you are from the us from the shemodern.com website if you're international like myself you would need to order it from the amazon i will try and remember to add the link um maybe i'll put it in the pinned comment um so yeah they have got some really good deals on over there so yeah go go over and have a look and uh yeah let me know any thoughts you have well thank you everybody so much for watching today if you're not subscribed please consider subscribing and hopefully i will see you in the next video until then take care bye don't forget to give this video a thumbs up thanks bye